back to the Discraft Ledgestone Insurance Open. I'm Ian Anderson. As always, Philo Brathwaite's kicking it with me. Yeah, boys. Nice to be back. Yeah, let's get a little part two chase card action coming your way. That was That's Tim Barham, Nate Perkins, Ricky Wysocki, and Andrew Presenlaw. I've been lighting this place up. Easier said than done, and it's getting a little harder on hole 10. Yeah, hole 10. We've transitioned to the back nine. Uh, the sweet spot is about... 50 feet from where the camera is right now probably about right keep going keep going keep going a little bit left of that blue stuff a little past it right about there yeah. right and then boom you got a straight look at the basket so if you don't get too greedy you can speed control your disc right over the top of that hill you should have a straight look to the target some guys are getting really greedy trying to get onto the flat and that's usually when the trouble happens andrew with the onyx that looks but wow Dang, I didn't realize how good that was from the tee. What Rick a wants rip. to follow that vapor trail. He's going Casey Rock here. Inside the line, little. He's going to need some help, and there it is. That's a really nice. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. Yep. Uh, World Tim, champ love. Tim's going with the Undertaker. That's got to get straight. Oh, oh no. no! He put the elevator on that swing, and oh no, that's a brutal mistake. Ooh, he's got a lot of work left to do. Yeah, he does. Perk. Perk trying to skid uh, over on something. He's got oh. a wow. Get sneaky past those guys too. Okay. Okay, that's not the worst place to be. He can scramble par from there. He might have a look. Tim just needs to get back into the fairway. He's playing a little army golf here, Philo. Yeah, he is. Well, that's a tough spot to be. Well, left, right, Rick. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a super tough shot, and he pulled that off beautifully. So good. Great speed and angle control by Rick. Good out from Tim right here, though. He's gonna be smart a play. I mean, you already took your medicine. Don't try to get greedy and do too much. It's just gonna cost you more. More smart play right here from Perkins. Absolutely. Center you got cut. nothing, then you take what the course gives you. Look at this drive from Andrew. Absolutely perfect. Taking a little soft run for Eagle. Nice job. That's two days in a row for him again on this one. Hey man, apparently he likes throwing in the woods. He he does. Really nice up from Perk there. Yeah, smart play. I'll take his par and move on to the next one. Nothing wrong with par on this hole. Tim looking to get in position for the bogey save. Stop, 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 oh. stop. Wow. Oh. I've seen that happen a bunch on this hole. That's such a fast little dirt patch right there. And Rick might be following him if he's not careful. You really got to be cognizant of the ground out here. It changes the ground so much. Play, yeah, yeah, big time. This is not a sticky green at all, as you just saw that long reaction from Tim's shot. Yeah, Tim lining up his comebacker for the five. Another tourniquet Circle's putt. Circle's edge putt, yeah. I think he'll step it in. Oh. Nope. Just jab. Bang. Wrap Great around. putt. Nice job, Tim. Good save. Yes, happy to see him make that one. Uh, Rick, this will be for a, a par save, which is after that drive. A good one. Yeah. I mean, wasn't the best drive. He got a little bit of help and kicked him more towards the middle, or that would have been a really, really tough shot from yeah. over there on the left. That angle he threw would have been impossible. Yeah, he that. probably would have just pitched up to the mouth and then just fired one down in there. But, yeah, you know, taking what he's getting, you know, he sees the line that he wants to throw, and he puts a disc out there and gets himself in position, saves his par. And Prezi showing how to do it. Man, well, that was Perkins. Oh, sorry, but the, the birdie, I meant, for, for, Pre, for Presnell. Yeah. Presnell did a beautiful job on that hole. That drive was one of the best I'd seen all tournament. Mm -hmm. Just dead nuts the whole way. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Hole 11's not getting any easier. Yeah, this is a super, super tough hole, guys. Um, the, again, the gap on the tee pad looks like maybe six feet wide at tops. It looks like there's a lot more, but the trees are staggered, so that makes the gap smaller. Um... A lot of dudes I'm seeing trying to go with the flick. The righty backhand play is super, super, super tight. Prezi? I believe that's an Avenger SS. That's a little SS. bit left. That's got to start drifting. That's not bad. You know, it's no. not perfect, but it's not bad. I don't realize how many trees are just in the middle of this fairway, man. Yeah, that's brutal. I'm not a big fan of the middle of the fairway it trees. Is not the fairest fairway out here. No. Rick. Rick. Oh, what? I don't know how he how got through he that. How did he get so greasy? How did he do that? Oh, my gosh. Seems unfair sometimes. I thought that was a bogey out of his hand, and he is now looking with a birdie putt. This is the angle I was expecting to see most people with the flick do. Kind yeah. of push it out there, do a little S, 
he's what right outside circle one. Yeah, that's another good putt for Perkins. Yeah, nice drive, 40, 40, 45 foot shot. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tim, such a tough shot, such a tough shot. That's the excellent. Wow. Excellent shot right there, just nice. outside the circle. But I mean, just to even get that far on this hole is no easy feat. You are stoked if you're up there. Mm-hmm. Here is Presnell. This looks sketchy. Let's see how aggressive he gets. Yeah, I think you just want to lay this one up, right? Just don't get greedy and do anything stupid. He's a smart player. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't see a lot of bad decisions out of. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out whack for that tree. tree. <laughs> <laughs> of course, tried to make him pay for it one way. Or oh, way. I uh, thought that was dropping in. That's a good bid, Nate. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, God, just a same low. spot. Both of those guys just missed that airspace under the disc there. I know, I know you're feels. feeling there, buddy. <laughs> and Rick. What a greasy bird, man. Greasy all around, man. Greasy over the rim of the bucket there. Greasy through the right side of the fairway. But that's Rick for you. Yeah, he told the basket good catch after that one. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew picking up his par, cleaning up. Same with Nate and Tim. Just, you know, par's not a bad hole. Not about, excuse me, not a bad score on this hole. Yeah. I mean, I've seen dudes take some huge numbers on this hole. I heard of a triple bogey on this hole yesterday. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's easy to do, man. Uh-huh. If you hit one of those first availables and you don't progress the fairway at all, it's just ooh. <laughs> the rough is rough <laughs> out here, guys. Like the smart thing to do is just to lay up and lay up and take your four, but a lot of people they have a hard time doing that. It you is. know, like you want to get up the fairway. You like, I can still a, save par. I but. can still do it, <laughs> and then there's just so much crap in the way that you know you're just getting punished. Speaking of crap in the way, Philo. There's yeah, a hole lot. twelve. This is a monster hole, not just in distance, but the shape of the shots that you have to create to have any chance of saving par. It's really tough. I mean, this is probably one of the hardest holes I think I've ever played in my life. I know. You can legitimately have three different groups playing this hole at the same time and not be in the way of each other. It's true. <laughs> and unfortunately, they don't, I don't think they have the par right on this hole, but we all got to play it. It's all going on the scorecard. Yep. You know, it's just... Ooh, Rick getting uh, Ooh, early gap bound. That's a real tough spot to be. Yeah, he's he's going to have to pitch up from there. He is probably not going to be able to get across to the other side of the bridge, which is the goal on your second shot. That's that drone from Andrew. Same thing. Oh. Got to kick the opposite direction, which is actually more beneficial for him. True. Perkins. Got to get past that guy right there. Excellent shot, Perks. Just to get that far on this nice. hole is such a challenge. It looks like he's pretty open, too. Yeah, he can get across the bridge there and mm-hmm. hopefully find himself with an angle that he likes to throw the next one. Tim? Oh, boy. That's his undertaker, and that's... You oh. know, and the other thing to think about is how long have these guys been standing there waiting to throw that shot? Oh, yeah, that's also you know? true. We had to like, wait for about three We don't groups. get to see that here on the camera. Or, yeah, you're you know, right. We're watching post-production, you know, and these dudes are probably standing there, three or four groups waiting to throw, and... You know, it's real easy to pull a shot when you need to put some speed on it when you've been sitting around for 25 minutes. Yeah, that was a great out from Tim, considering where Rick he was. just trying to get back into the fairway, and he does just that. Looks like he even centered it up, which will be ideal for his third shot. Bit of a weird lie here for Prezi. Looks like he's just laying up short of the bridge. I don't know if he really wants to be over there, though. He doesn't. No, he's actually in a horrible spot. Tim? This will be his third that thing's got a slide, slide, slide. There you go. Oh, what a shot. Great shot. Setting it up even. Yeah. I mean, that's actually a really good, not bad place to be. You know, if you can get 50 feet into that tree line up there, mm-hmm. that's a really good play. Perk after that beautiful uh, drive. A little low. Well, not bad. I mean, it's across. Maybe that's not so bad because you have a little bit better angle. Oh, yeah. To that's, see. You know, if you land at the base of the hill, then you can't see where you're going. Mm-hmm. That's an interesting thought. Rick is off the Saw fairway over there. Off over there, too. There's a roll out a little bit. Mm. He kind of just nestled up on the hill yeah. in the, in the stuff. This whole roughing him up at the moment. And here is where Prezi ended up after his. Get up. Oh, oh yeah. Little baby cut roll he didn't need right there. Puts him with some weird footing for his fourth. Now he's trying to get up the hill, and it's super, super easy to bail out to the left when you're going uphill. Mm-hmm. And that's going to create a tough angle for that tunnel. Oh, big time. 
I mean, he's got a sidearm game. Maybe he can work something out. Perk with a third? There's the shot that I was anticipating seeing out of Perk. And just, oh. I hope that doesn't go OB. It didn't go OB, but, man, he is so deep in this stuff. This could also go OB. Great kick again. That's a good kick. <laughs> yeah, there is OB left of the, the left trees over They're there. Just trying to stay in the middle, hopefully. Yeah. He, he Was got that it. his fourth already? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so easy to do. Mm-hmm. Prezi with that tough angle. But yeah, that stand-up hyzer is like almost impossible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no room it was, on the it, right side. It went pretty well, though. He got he through. He got through a lot of it, but it's not like he hit the gap and he no. got through. You know, yeah. Look at this shot <laughs> by Rick. Yeah. Talk about an epic bogey save. Wasn't that good? Look. I don't think I'd seen anybody make six from where he ended up off the tee. And look at this shot from Perk, man. Just trying to bang it out there and get back into the fairway and he maybe have a long putt. Tiny pipe. lines out of there. There's a bunch of tiny lines on this whole. Damn. This whole course just feels like tiny line centrum. It kind of does, huh? Presnell? It's going to be for six? Mm. Yeah, I'll be taking a seven, I think. It's a lot of strokes to keep track of on this 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 hole. Yeah, this, yeah. this is a tough, tough hole. Very unforgiving. Tim? Oh, that's going to be a seven. Man. Yeah, there's that double. Double bogey for Barham. Yeah. I believe Perk with the single, hopefully. Yeah, just a single bogey there. Let's That's get, actually feels that's par. Like a, it feels like a par. <laughs> it feels you like know, a par. It's playing par to the to the field. Mm -hmm. That seven feels like a legit bogey. Yep. Rick, man, that was a great six. Yeah, that that fifth shot was a beaut. That pig of his. Not too many people are pure in that gap. Mm -hmm. Perk with the huck right there, uh, taking us into thirteen. Yeah, I like this whole whole 13, um, shaping the disc again, left to right, and there's that big tree we're passing right there. You definitely want to miss that guy, kind of hang it down the left side of the fairway, taper past that little spot right there, land, pick your poison, getting up to the green, backhand or a flick. The flick seems to be working the best right now. It kind of works its way up the hill. Yeah. Rick, Rick pulls this one instantly, and is he going to get greasy? Well, he didn't go B or anything, so, I mean, <laughs> he's still in play. Yeah. Probably just going to get his four and move on. That was his Casey Rock. Here's Perkins. Perkins is really putting moves on this disc, man. Oh, this needs to get. There's one little OB corner, right? Ooh. Did he, did he just bout the stake? He hit the stake. Wow. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Hey, man. The course giveth and the course taketh. As True like words, to say. sir. There's that drone from Presnell. Beautiful shot. Ideal. Absolutely yeah. ideal. 377 with that thing that's out there mm -hmm. kind of plays a little downhill so gravity's kind of helping it helping yeah. it out this is leaking right for tim you don't want oh, oh not anymore it's not never mind fairway <laughs> centrum <laughs> check that right so here is where rick ended up after his drive way Getting, right oh what super aggressive with the backhand roller <laughs> it's that champ valk again that's nuts man like who's really doing that besides rick you know so what are the, I think it was Tim went up and looked. He's like, went up to a spot and I'm like, what did you just do from right there? Get a good skip forward. Oh. oh. That could have jumped in. The course giveth and the course taketh. <laughs> That's you know? true. All in one hole, Philo. All in one hole, man. One guy. They gave him a break and then they just took it right <laughs> back. Like, oh, you think funny. you're making birdie? <laughs> Niente. You're going to have to earn this one, buddy. Uh, Prezi getting a little crazy action there. He's still going to have a look for the birdie. All right, here is Nate after that. Beaut of a drive. Yeah, this is totally setting up for a Nate Perkins flick, and I'm done get much better than that. Tag the tag the pole there. Yep, bumping his head on the way out. You know, Rick's running this birdie. Get out of here! Oh my gosh, man. that was close. That was very close. What, three inches from <laughs> banging it. An impossible line. From <laughs> not a he had like no reason to even have a like no. <laughs> you know, look at birdie, and this dude almost still makes a birdie. <laughs> Presnell, uh, uh, left side, a little fluffy again. Yeah. Looks like Rick will save his par. That's a great par, man. Yeah, after that drive? You end up early in the crap and you can scramble a par. That's a good number. That was a heck of an out. Mm -hmm. 
the creativity rolling, alone yeah. to even think of that and then execute it perfectly or near perfect anyway. Patent pending roller from the woods in an awkward stance. Yeah. Yeah. That takes some courage, man. Yeah. Uh, a lot of things can go wrong with a play like that. Oh, yeah. And he, eventually Perkins will come along and, and drop in the solo bird, get the stroke on the card right there. Excellent job there, Mr. Perkins. Yeah. Played that whole textbook. The slow mo drop in. I love it. Mm hmm. He's oh. battling. He is. Yeah. It's not yeah. going great, but it's not going bad. <laughs> he called it, man. All right, guys, we will kick it off to our sponsors. It's a lot. It's a vice. An escape from stress, from work. It's my chance to just get away during the week. It's like meeting up with an old friend, you know? I'll never get tired of that sound. Back to the action, and man, if I had a Dream 18, I might throw this one on there, Philo. It's it's beautiful, and I and I can reach it. Yeah, I mean, you step up to the tee, and you should be thinking ace run because there's really not much of another option is to just throw it at the target and like, hit the basket or the, the ground, green. right? I mean, yeah, I <laughs> yeah. mean, there's there's really nowhere else to go. There's nothing left. There's nothing right. You got to throw the disc hard and straight. You may as well just make the the basket, you know, your goal. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good jukes, dude. Taking a shot from the gallery. <laughs> that made my day. That was solid. Oh, man. A Rick with the pro pig here, Philo. Wow. If that pans out one more. Mm, so close to being. Wasn't it? So close. Just a little more turn. That thing might go in. Uh, Prezi. I think he's going buzz. Get a little drift, get a little drift, get a little drift. It's trying to get stable. What? Oh, God, I wanted that one, Philo. Oh, Almost a tree love ace. Just man. a little higher, right? <clears throat> tree love ace. That's got to sneak past that guy. Oh. Hit the exact same spot as Perkins. They're like a foot apart in this bush right here. So here's Tim's version of the out. He goes all around the outside. Get it. Oh, oh my gosh. Great, great, great bid there. One I mean, hit. such touch. Perkins is going to try to do the same thing. Inside line. Yeah. That's, I mean, wow. Just having the ability to do that shot, man. So jealous. I love when I watch people do that. And I'm just like, God, I wish I could do that better. Ooh, Rick. Rick, slight death putt. It don't matter. Does not. This guy's scrambling. Good scramble job there by yeah. Timmy. Just don't want to come off the ground. <laughs> just we'll abandon it. That in a minute. <laughs> we'll get it later. I'm going right back in that direction. There we go. There's Prezi with the birdie after the almost ace. Well, a little bit of tree help didn't hurt, huh? And not so much, man. Uh, we've been seeing quite a bit of this good fortune today. <laughs> Northwood's you know? been nice. It Most has. of it's been good. It has, yeah. Either they don't hit anything, or when they do hit something, it's kind of helping. <laughs> yeah, Rick on 11, firing through everything. Yeah, it's incredible. It's been, it's been a, that's why I love woods golf, Philo. It's just more exciting. When the disc is in the air, crazy things can happen, you know? Unfortunately, they tend to happen yeah. to me. Yeah. I, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> hole 15, our island hole. Yeah, this is kind of another ace run, too. I mean, you don't really can't really lay it up. I mean, you could, I suppose, and just take your three. But You're probably feeling shame. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of space to make the disc work. So, like, you just got to take your chances, you know, and try not to overdo it. And that's perfect. Pro pig again from Ricky. Man, that guy's feeling the flow. Mm -hmm. That's that drone from Andrew. This is the line that I like right here. Go in. Oh. Excellent. Excellent shot. Perkins. 
lining up that inside and drag it out with That's the gotta... stable. Needs to get some air and a bounce and goes the wrong direction. That'll be OB, so I think he'll be playing it from the short side of the creek. They gave him the long side. It kind of really? cut the corner there, yeah. That was wow, the, I didn't see that, but okay. The theory anyway. Uh, they might. There you go. Yeah, I think that's what uh, Nate was looking for there. Yeah, yeah, that that late fade he didn't really get. Mm-hmm. So he's got a chance to save his par here. It is wow, they gave though. him that line, huh? Yeah. I'm not sure if he really got over there, but I couldn't see from that camera angle, so I'm yeah. going to shut my mouth. <laughs> yep. I'm not on the card. <laughs> <clears throat> it kind of made sense where the disc was. I'll give him that. Okay. Yeah, where it ended Uh-oh. up. Oh, Brezzy, no. Ooh. Man. Woo. That could have cost him an extra one very easily. Sure could have. Nate sliding in that hyzer putt. Spinny hyzer putt. Disappointing Bogue, I'm sure, after that's really a shot that he's really, really good at, too. Yeah, to it is. To see him kind of just miss that angle by just a hair. Cost him another two strokes. Uh, Prezi saving par, which I'm sure he's disappointed in after that, that drive. Yeah, I mean, that was almost ace run. Mm-hmm. Barham with the bird, Rick with the bird, but what's new? Get a Tim's forehand right there. What's he throwing? A machete. Huh. Machete. Machete. <laughs> <laughs> Old 16. Yeah, that's this a big is, one. Yeah, that's another really tough par five. I mean, the first two shots are technically not that t- that difficult. Hole, you know, the first shot, you're just trying to get past where that little drop zone space is, past the bush. Second shot, make it through the gap. And the third shot, you really got to pipe something up that hill. If it's about four, 450 in that realm, mm-hmm. 465 from the gap, almost 500. So, and it's uphill. <laughs> you yep. know, it's not an easy shot. Third hole in a row. Ricky's going pro pig off the tee. Just a little bit too I, much. I will say, though, if you don't throw your first shot perfectly, that second shot becomes quite a bit more difficult. you got to land in the middle of the fairway. Yeah. There's no sneaking off to the left. You can finish a little right and still be okay, but to the left is a super, super tight angle. I see. I've seen a lot of guys do this play right there. Yeah. Way, way wide spiking hyzer, not even giving it a chance to the left side of the fairway. There's Andrew and his drone. Yeah, I threw a super, super flat rock just right around the edge of that tree and push it about 80 feet further from where these guys were. Really? And it really didn't make the hole any easier. No. <laughs> no. Nope. I thought I threw the perfect drive, and then I got up there. I'm like, nope, still not perfect. It's still yeah. hard. <laughs> Perkins Can't is... do much more than get through the gap. Yeah. That's uh, leaking rail. That's really thick right there. Yeah, that's going to be a fun one just to get out to where those people are out there in the distance, and Barham never commits to the gap, and oh, that's no. going to be brutal. Yeah, that's pitch-out territory over there. Absolutely. Uh, Prezi lined it up really nice, looking at his second. Dude. Understable to flat. You can't really get much better than that. So good. Yeah, excellent. That was an well Avenger, Avenger SS. Well executed. Well executed. I mean, he just yeah. piped the tunnel, the disc stood up, didn't fade, which is really where most people make. No. Oh, no. No. Oh. And is he lining up this gap? Look at Look where he throws this. Wow, what a recovery shot, man. So impressed with that one. <laughs> wow. That could have gone so badly, but it went so well. That what dude a recovery could hit some shot. Yeah, you need him sometimes. Rick going for everything, get through the gap. He's... That's totally in Rick's wheelhouse right there. Mm-hmm. Now you can get up and down, make another birdie. We saw that go horribly for Calvin yesterday, right? Yeah. Similar spot. Uh, Tim Barham, just... smart play, progresses yeah. the fairway. He's got a chance to get up there. He's going to go roller. Throwing four. I, that needs to get real understable real quick, or that could go in bad places. Or we'll run out of steam, one of the two. All right. He, no. no. It did, yeah. They, everybody jumped out of the way, unfortunately. Uh. <laughs> and he is OB throwing six, I want to say. Rick with the mad flick up to the green, which is the most forehand. conducive angle to get there. The backhand was way more wide open, but... That finishes away from where he wants the disc to go. Exactly. And he's got the speed, and that was about a 400-foot flick. And just trying that drone again. At least this one doesn't fade super hard, so maybe it'll... Ooh. That's perfect. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Five paces off the basket, well in the circle. And he didn't throw anything faster than a fairway. The whole hole. Smart. Yeah. Perk. Perkins to save his par, get up and down. 
That looks good enough to me. Don't sit, keep sit. rolling. Don't keep rolling. Don't keep rolling. All okay. right, he's in the circle. That would be a little challenge, a little tester, but you got confidence in my boy. You can make it happen. Def. Here is Tim. Oh, I have not yet seen this play ever on this hole. Don't do him like that. Oh. All right. At least oh. it didn't go on the road, though, oh, but man. come on, man. Brutal. He's, he's taking it this hole. This hole is really giving it to him. Oh, he still made that putt, though. Like, collecting yourself to make that putt. Nice job, Tim. Absolutely. I know I know the seven hurts, but... He maintained his composure and, yeah. you know... He tried to do everything he could as smart... I may, maybe minus that roller. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he needed to go for the roller on that last shot after he got out of the mm -hmm. woods. You know, yeah. I think he had plenty of arm speed to get up there and save himself a couple, maybe three. Yeah. You know, at least two. Prezi with a great birdie. Ricky. Woo! That's a turkey for Rick right there. That's some tough turkey, holes. turkey, man. 14, 15, 16. Yeah, that's cooking. Mm-hmm. Another look at Andrew Presnell's drive on hole 16. The buzz. That dis the drone, man. Drone, <laughs> the drone, drone. Yeah. That just works so well for that shot. It just really nestles nicely. 17. 17, yeah. This is a super, super skinny gap again. Feels like five space, five feet of space between the gaps off the off the tee box. I was talking with Barsby about it yesterday. I think I figured out the trick of this hole, man. You just throw it right at the basket. Like, <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> super yeah, there's nowhere helpful, else bro. to throw the disc, dude. <laughs> like, where else are you supposed to go? I love Greg, man. He's like, <laughs> Ace run. <laughs> oh, Ricky. Ricky. That's a T bird. Going long. He almost aced it yesterday, too, from what I heard. It's an incredible shot, man. Avenger SS from Andrew. This is the mistake that a lot of people make right here. And he got through. Wow. Ooh. That's fortunate. It's so easy to pull the disc to the right when you're trying to go uphill very, very flat. You know? Like, mm -hmm. It's really hard to aim left. You know? And uh, Okay, oh. don't hit anything. All right. Well, he should be okay. Kicked him in the middle, at least. He should be okay. You don't want to go the other way. No, right is really, really bad on this hole. Tim with the Undertaker. Woo, get slidey. Oh, oh boy. Just get up and down. Oh, no. no. No, outside the circle trying to save par. You see how dark it is? It's like 8 o'clock right now. When we're f <laughs> I can't remember when I filmed this late before. There's Tim. He almost got out, caught the very last piece of something. Uh, so this is going to be his third, just hoping to get up and down for the bogey save. Throw it in there, buddy. Ooh. Mm. Nice try. Nice out. Uh, Prezi, a little 46-foot look right here. Ah. Yeah. Handful of putts. He never really got into the chains today. Yeah. Threw really well today, though. Yeah. Throwing the disc great. Yeah. There's a putt for Mr. Perkins. Yeah. Great par save after the subpar upshot. And Rick, after going long, coming just in, back. Just inside circle's edge. This is a pretty much a gimme for Rick. Yep. And that feels like a five putt, you know, five step putt for me. Rick gets ten or twelve. Uh -huh. This looks like exactly the same. I take about the same amount of time to get there too. He fires him, man. <laughs> <laughs> that putt is screaming. Yeah, there's no secret. Rick likes to putt fast. Yep. He's an aggressive. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> the velocity he gets on a pitch putt is something else. It's all that wrist action, man. It's all at the very end. Santa Cruz! Oh, nice. He's got that. I didn't see that. Uh, good good eyes, Philo. Yes, sir. Hole yeah. 18. Good finishing hole. Yeah, it's a great finishing hole. It's definitely a softer one for the course. I mean, it's wide open. There's only one mistake to make, and that is going to the right. Yes, sir. So just throw something out there. You got plenty of space. You got an eternity out there to the left. Just throw it out there. Give yourself a big angle and, you know, pick your shot into the green. Yeah. Rick's going to throw a mash, I am sure. It is a... Uh, champ eagle yeah it's a very very huh. straight driver so he's just going you know placement shot get as far far straight Dude, as you can that is so right good. there pig up probably probably there. another little pig flick up yeah mm -hmm. presnell this is gonna be a z force yeah this is the play right there just kind of a little baby bleed you know baby flexor you don't really need to make the disc turn right you just kind of want to see it veer a little right and hook up that's money spot right there perkins Nice job, Perks. Yeah. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Why well, is he in the grass? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's deceiving. You know, it is. the corner on the left can sneak up if you kind of air it out a little too much. 
Tim? Get stable one more time. Get stable, get stable, get stable. All right, he's a little pinched off, but he's got a good flick, so I think he'll – oh, he's going backhand. Backhand. Wow. He went crank off the tee. He's going – he didn't get far enough to get around the corner. Yeah, crank again. This is a super, super tough shot right here, ladies and gentlemen. Blind into the basket. It looks like he crushed it too far. He did, yeah. He's kind of in two trees left of the basket right in the middle. Um, it's a tough shot. It's so easy to overcook that shot and then cut and roll. Perk with a really pretty looking up here. Oh, yeah. That's right in his wheelhouse. I mean, he's a predominant yeah. forehand flick, you know, backhand flick player. Bleh, forehand flick. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy with the but we know what you meant, Philo. Here's yeah. the, here's the focus. Bleh. <laughs> Talking's hard, man. Tell Sometimes a <laughs> little bit weak and fluffy, but he'll have another putt. Yeah, probably there a longer one than he wanted to finish this round with, though. No doubt. The pig up from Rick. Let's see if he can chuck it in there. It looks like he was taking a stab at I it. I bet he was. Rick's always good for Not his bad. show. He's really given himself a lot of looks for birdie today. Yes, he has. You know. And that was Tim uh, rolling out of the woods. This is Presnell looking to finish with a two, get to 11 down. Bingo. Good putt. That a way to finish on a positive note. Give yourself a little fist pump on the way out. Yeah. Barham looking for the par save. There you go. Well done, Tim. Rough day for Timmy, you know, all, yeah. all around, but he kept battling, he kept grinding, you know, and that's all you can do on a tough course like this is, you know, fight all the way to the end and do the best you can to save yourself where you can, you know. Mm -hmm. Bad things are going to happen when you play a rough course like this. And that is five in a row for Ricky to finish. Rick just went Del Scorcho to finish this uh, second round, bumps himself into a really good position on the leaderboard. Right. I don't want to do any spoiler alerts, but yeah. if you're paying attention. Yep. Top 10's coming up, so spoiler, Rick spoiler. Rick has arrived. Yes, he has. He is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this guy also will be on the lead card final round as well. Our next round. Oh, yeah. Round. God, you're right. It's we only third two round. Two more rounds to go. <laughs> Thank so we you. We just played two at the Northwood <laughs> Gold, and now we're transitioning over to Eureka for the last two. Which could not be more different. It's going to be. <laughs> it's it? going to be interesting. I feel like it's going to be a shootout now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I think you're like right. It'll be a shootout. That place doesn't offer quite as much you know, stroke separation as does this place. So mm -hmm. there it is, Ricky hopping up there with Greg, who hasn't been on the scene for a minute. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Greg's ready to play golf this week. He said, I need to get my USDGC spot so I can take the rest of the season off. <laughs> that what That's basically what he said. You know, it's really weird when he has these premonitions like that. He plays well. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. He did the same thing at European Open a few years ago. He said, I don't want to play this B tier the week before. And then he almost wins the European Open. <laughs> Pissed off a lot of people, but then almost won the European That's Open. <laughs> so good. That's so Greg. I love that story. Uh, we'll be on Chase Card. Uh, so we got Alex Russell, uh, Matt Orham, Zach Arlinghouse, and Andy hey, Barella. So back on the scene. Should be a really fun watch. Always love having Matty on the card. Zach's like 16 years old, something like that. Wow. Yeah. So. We're just getting younger and younger and better and better. I know, man. <laughs> so we're going to be out at Lake Eureka Temp. Uh, we'll be back at it. Thanks for watching round two. Bye, love you, man. Yeah, yeah. Nice to be with you, bud. Always, man. We'll catch you guys in round three. Thanks, Thanks for watching.